seems like it gets stronger and stronger the more you let it set to because I tried it again and it worked even faster. Hey, Lemon, can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. What is a woman? Uh, it appears that it was a helpmate made by God, specifically um, uh, being with a womb, uh, breasts, um, able to become a mother um, after sexual copulation, um, typically shorter, uh, smaller stature, less muscle, less uh, dense bones, um, sparkly eyes, uh, tend to be gentler and more cooperative, a bit more emotional sometimes. Sorry, SJW's hashtag, hashtag not all. Stands seven heads tall compared to a man who stands eight heads tall, wider hips, um, Q angle um, by their legs, wider hips um, for childbirth. What else? I think they say their ribs are a little bit smaller than a man's too. Um, narrower shoulders, more gently sloping forehead, um, smaller ring finger in some cases. Man tend to have a bigger ring finger, but hashtag not all. Uh, what are you else? doing with this definition, Montreal? What do you think to it? No, I'm just curious. I have one more question for Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. Yeah. Lemon, it's can a woman have a... I, hold on a minute. I'd like... What, can you answer this question, then? What is a woman? You want me to answer? Yes. What is a woman? Yes. Yes. A woman is not a male. A woman has a vagina and a male has a penis. How about that? So just defined by genitalia, then? What's one of the things? Well, the what about, major thing. What about, major. What, about a, what about a hermaphrodite that has both genitalia? Well, that's what we can call a, uh, I don't want to say a mistake or a freak of nature, but uh, <laughs> biology gone astray. So, that's that's that way. So, so we refer to them, we would refer to them, we would say, this is a man, this is a woman, this is a biology gone astray. That's how well, you... I'm an expert, but yeah, you can say that, yeah. What's your yeah, definition? So that, that is What's how you would refer... Hold on. You, you, let, let's say you're a government official. You're writing some sort of document uh, that involves this, and you're going to refer to hermaphrodites as, what was it, something biological that's gone wrong, or what was your phrase that you used? I think, it's, I think it was biology gone wrong or something. Yeah, biology yeah. gone wrong. Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, what would you refer to them, Jim? What's a man and what's a well, woman? I, wouldn't, you, I, I would first refer to you as a vile fascist and, you know, have you rounded up? Right. Now, that's not the issue. The issue is what would the great gem consider a woman? Go ahead. I, well, I wouldn't answer the question because I think it's right-wing blabber presented in the form of a question uh, that would only be asked by a moron. Well, only, a, be... only a complete fuckwit who hasn't thought this through in any way would ask that question. Like you did. Listen, you fucking asshole. Like you did, because a you're man now referring is a man. to one Listen, section. dipshit. Listen, you're, you're dipshit. You're now referring to one a section of humanity man, as biological dipshit. mistakes. And a woman is a fucking woman, you dipshit. Are you no, mean you you know? Go ahead. Oh, right. So if, if you'd said to me, what is a woman? And I said, well, a woman is a woman, you dipshit. You'd have been happy with that definition, would you? No, I want you to answer it because you're, you're always that's on the, the wrong side of the just, issue. That's the definition that you just gave me. And apparently anything other than that makes you a dipshit. No, no really it, the question. what makes you a What's dipshit your definition? is... What's your I definition? gave you my definition, dipshit. Your, you are no, refusing to answer the question, dipshit. Your definition, your definition requires that we label some part of humanity as a biological mistake. So I don't accept your definition. I think you need to do a lot better than that. You just so got, correct me. You just correct got me voted then. out. You just got correct voted me out then. for referring to humanity as a biological mistake. So Re correct me. Something else. Correct me. Correct me. Hermaphroditism is not a normative category. As a biological mistake. 
Yes, yes, yes. yes. So it's a bad thing. Try yes. again. Now, what is your system. definition, Jim? Like I say, I wouldn't even bother to answer such a stupid so question. So sit down and shut up then. Let somebody else talk. Right. No, I want to point out what this is. We should expose it for what it is. Right-wing blabber. Being no, it's by not. Posed oh. by idiots that aren't capable of answering this question themselves. This okay, is listen, and over listen, over again. listen and learn, yeah. dipshit. Look at, look at the compromise the you've had. Look at the compromise you've had to make to ask this pointless, ridiculous question that applies to almost nobody anywhere. It's like an issue to nobody apart from Tucker fucking Carlson. Uh, Jim, oh, can the I thing talk? is, hermaphroditism. No, hold on, Lemon, is... Lemon, please. Jim, you heard about the male swimmer that competed in the women's swimming? Yes. What do you feel about that, Jim? I think it's a, it's a matter for the governing body of that sport. I think it's a. No, sport. you. I what think, do you, do you think, about that? I think? Do you want to hear what I think or do you want to talk over what I think? Which is it? Go ahead. I think it's a matter for the governing body of that sport. I think it's almost a non-issue. There's almost no transgender people in the world as part of the general population anyway. They're a tiny, tiny, tiny fragment of, of the population. And of those, the ones that are involved in, in uh, competitive sports are even tinier, tinier fragments of the population. So it's almost a nothing issue. It's a nothing burger blown up into all out of all proportion by idiots like you that think there's a simp that a child could answer this question. When look at the mess Lemon made of it. He had it, all sorts of criteria. That Lemon did pretty good. And, and you I had and to your be definition, because I knew that you were gonna try to uh, buy your and, and talking, Your definition, Montreal, was a woman is a woman. That was your. No, a woman has China. a vagina. And a woman has a vagina, able that to have children, and a man has a All penis right. with so, sperm. So women, so women over childbearing age and under childbearing age. The, they're not they're women trying now. to hire us in minutia now, I'm trying to say what that about, there's no such thing as a man or a woman. What about women that are in fertile? Are they not women? Your your definition's terrible, Montreal. Right. Tell me yours. Tell me yours. No, let's point out that your simple you don't definition have a definition. Fails, definition. Didn't it? You don't have a definition. You, you need to shut Lemon, up. Lemon, shut up. Do you agree your definition fails? <laughs> it doesn't take account of women who, who, for whatever reason, can't bear children. At least we have a definition. You don't even have Can a definition. Answer, you Lemon. Don't even get to Can talk. he answer, Lemon? Montreal, does your definition work or does it fail? It works brilliantly. A so, man okay, has a okay. penis. Can so I? all, so everyone over the, who, all women over childbearing age are no longer women. Well done. They well still done, have Montreal. a vagina, Jim. They Does have a man have a, have a, 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 a vagina, Jim. He said they had to be able to have children. They so had it, and they lost it through the course of time. That's different, what if, you, what, if you, what if a man removes his exactly and has, a, a, has a, a, an artificial vagina surgically, surgically, surgically created? Are you That's happy not now a that vagina. you are it's a not man, man. 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 man? It's to be a natural vagina now. Which, what does that even mean? Right. This is why you I was not going to try to find me in the The definition will fail because this is not a, a, a no question of five year old It's not as simple. Lemon, shut up. are general. I'm going to have to mute you. Yeah. It's it's not a question a five year old could answer. It's not as simple as a woman is a woman. More so you get to have no definition. Yes, it is, you clown. It's that simple. I, I a don't woman a... has a vagina and a man has a penis, you idiot. Not all women and all men meet those definitions, though. So your definition right. is completely lacking in being like as all-encompassing as you want it to be because you want it to define women and men's sports. There are going no, to be you guys are messed up in the brain. Parameters. That's why I came in here because I knew I was gonna I was gonna meet resistance. Even in this, you can't agree. It's because unbelievable. You're, because you're it's recommending right that, that we do penis checks for men's sports because you're you have, right. to have a penis to participate. So right. you'd feel comfortable if your daughter was in a in a let's say an Olympic wrestling team and she had to face a man. You'd be comfortable with that. 
Yeah, that's not what anyone's advocating for. Right. Not that's exactly what this is coming to. No, this is no, what I'm trying not. to bring out to no, you guys. It's not. It's the not. world. But the thing is, it's not coming to this. It's not. And the reason it's not is the one I've already outlined. There's almost no transgender people in the population. It's a tiny, tiny fraction. And of those, it's an even tinier fraction that are involved in some sort of uh, competitive sport <coughs> where this sort of thing matters. So it's not coming to this. This is right wing blabber. This is the right wing pretending it's coming to this. Society, the, the, the sky's falling in because a man took part in a women's swimming competition somewhere. That the, the whole world is ending and it's all going to pop because of this one tiny example. It's not. It's just ridiculous right wing fantasy, blown up blabber, deliberate. Deliberate um, uh, division creating, to creating disparity and division in society for no reason whatsoever other than it's clickbait for mongs like you. Wow. Can I have a word in now? Yes. It's remarkable. And, and I was expecting just that from a fucking idiot like you, Jem. Honestly, I was expecting this. You can't even come to an understanding and of reality you're so fucked up in the brain that you don't even know the difference between a man and a woman it's Neither people like you, you that Neither are going to make you. our society fall your you idiot your definition fails and, re and 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 requires that you label parts of the population as biological mistakes so y you can't define it either in any way and it's not a simple thing. Useful. It is this idea that you could just say, well, that's a woman. And someone says, oh, it's a three. It's a 32. It's a, it's a yellow. It's just ridiculous. It's, it's I, that simple. Yellow and red. Man and woman. No, it's not. Yes. It's really not. She, she yes, it is. It's, not, it's, she not, really it's really, not, really that not. It's really not. Your definition is purely genitalia. And we've shown you no. how that can no. fail. You've said a man's a man if he's got a penis. What if he's he lost his penis somehow? What if he had it chopped off somehow? Is he now a woman? Is he not a man? Or is he a biological mistake? Was he born with a penis before it got chopped off? How are you going to determine that? You look between his legs. Wait, what, at his moment of birth? <laughs> yeah. At his moment of birth, hey, it's a penis. Hey. Wow, what do you know? It's a and boy. Now he's hey, it's years not old. a penis. Hey, it's a girl. So now he's 30 years old and he wants to take part in a swimming competition. How are you going to determine whether he had a penis when he was born? Uh, what? How? Are you really Listen, that serious? Here's the question again for you because you're stupid, okay? If a person is 30 years old and wants to take part in a swimming competition, how are you going to determine what genitalia he had when he was born? We'll check out his birth certificate and see, did that, it say boy miss, or that did that it say genitalia? girl? I don't think a, a birth certificate states your genitalia, does it? Oh, really? When you're what? born, it, states, it doesn't state if you're a boy or a girl you fucking fuck that, with? That it's isn't your genitalia. That isn't your definition, is it? Your definition is genitalia. That's not on the birth certificate. Does it say boy or girl on the you know, on the certificate? Well, that wasn't your intended, definition. Right? Your definition so, wasn't so, you so if they've got a birth certificate that says they're a boy, then you're happy with that. Yeah, you should have just yeah, said that whatever the birth that, certificate. Yeah. Right. Okay. So anybody you, you can realize that people can get their birth the certificates boy. changed, right? So if someone gets their birth certificate changed from male to female, you're okay with them participating in women's sports then. That's no, fine. Then it's a fraud. Then it's a fraud. <laughs> then your system is inefficient at describing oh, okay. what you actually want to do. failed again then, hasn't it? Because you said all it has to be is on the birth certificate. Are you that fucking stupid, you guys? Are you that fucking stupid? No, really, man? Nobody's That's stupid. Your These are your things. You said First you said genitalia. Well, first you said they, they have to be able to uh, give birth. Then we abandoned that one. Then we went for purely genitalia. Then we pointed out other issues that might, might how would you determine that? And now you're saying, oh, well, it doesn't matter about the genitalia. It's what's written on their birth certificate that counts. So... Your definition keeps changing while you call us stupid for not having a definition. You're really stupider than I thought. I, I thought I'd have some support. Yeah, you want in to have this, another but, go, Montreal? But have all you of your 
do you have a definition that works? Because the genitalia one failed, the birth certificate one failed, the giving birth one failed. Do you have one that might work? Go ahead. How about the rest of the gemlings? Are you guys afraid to speak or are you letting Papa do the speaking for you? We're asking you. They don't need to speak. To you. You, to you presented this as it's so easy to answer and anyone that can't answer is stupid. Let's hear you answer it. Go ahead. I didn't say that. No, I answered yes, it already. I want to hear your yeah. opinion besides you, Jim. We your, but your answer doesn't work. It completely fails. Uh, three times over. The, the three attempts that you've made to define a woman have failed, haven't they? Besides the triggered gem, does anybody else here, 50 people, have an opinion? Do you? You don't seem to have one. I gave women you my opinion. How about you, what Doofus? What is a woman, Doofus? Go ahead. How come your definition define? doesn't seem to work? Okay, mine doesn't work. Agreed. How about yours? What's your definition? It depends. It depends on the situation. Your name it is not Doofus, Jam. Well, I'll, I'll give you my opinion anyway. It depends, <laughs> doesn't it? It depends on why you're making this definition, for what purpose this definition is being made. And it, it depends on many, many nuanced and complex things. And it isn't just as simple as what genitalia a person has. It really isn't. There, right, there's right. multiple factors in... Uh, yeah what sex that, you are, chromosomes, which, which right. there is more than the classical two, and it's DNA and it's uh, genitalia and it's testosterone and estrogen. And I don't know uh, how much the brain goes into it or if that's together with one of those I mentioned, but there are multiple receptors and hormone. the hormones than it is about the brain. Yeah. yeah. Someone and, posted a great thing about this the other day. Where it went through about 12 different things that actually determine gender. I can't remember how many, but there was loads of them. And yeah, like and sometimes they are... Including in, chromosomes and stuff. Mm, if you're going to have so many criteria... In, uh, go ahead. And, and sometimes, uh, they're like, it's easy when... Uh, all the criteria are in one ballpark or the other, but sometimes if they reach closer to the middle. And I don't have a source for this, but um, I, I have heard about that when boys are born, which have a male genitalia, they're actually genetically closer related to females than males. And then they slowly transition over time. So one of the current hypotheses is that uh, gender is a gradient and some people are closer to the middle which is where because of all these criteria that sometimes are on each side and when when the uh, some of these people are ac across the middle that's where they sometimes feel like they aren't in the right body i think but it isn't yeah, simple it is a complex matter right and if you want to go by things like uh the sex, the the classic sex chromosomes type definition, SE. You'll have like you know XX chromosomes for female or XY for male, but you're forgetting, of course, it's possible, but rare. But it's possible that you can also be YY chromosomes, and that doesn't really fit the definition either. So you got to figure out what you're asking first before you ask the fucking question. As hey, let me simplify this it. for you. Let me simplify this. Simon, I, I understand that a man could be born with the chromosomes and he thinks he's a woman. I get that. That's not the issue. I don't have a problem with that. My problem is how society has evolved that we are allowing male bodies, regardless of how they became that way, regardless of how they feel inside, they have a male body, male muscles, male structure. Now, my issue is allowing these people to compete with females regardless of what you think a male or a female is. So why do you care about, about defining their gender? Why? Because what you're saying is that they're physically, a male is going to, likely to be phys physically superior, right? Yes, as strength so not, only. So why not classify people in terms of, you know, in, in, in sporting classifications, why not classify them according to their, their physical prowess? Exactly. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. So, w which brings me back to this male body, regardless of what he feels, should not have been allowed to compete in the woman's swim meet. Can we agree with that? Well, I think that it's, like I say, I think it's a non-issue 
Isn't I that think up that, to the people who compete <laughs> and right. not up to the spectators? And I think if, if people feel it's unfair, and this is, like I say, this is, it, it's not just a non-issue, it's a new non-issue, isn't it? And so... No, but it's if, becoming if people, an issue, hang on, Jim. Hang on. If people aren't geared up to deal with it, well, we shouldn't be surprised at that. That's how society's been in re with regard to these sort of issues anyway. You, you, changes have had to be made throughout society, haven't they? Because we've realised that we're not treating people fairly and we can treat them more fairly. And if this um, has resulted in some unfairness the other way, well, then we can address that. And, and it, it needs to be addressed, like I say, by the governing body of that sport. It's not, I don't think it's a, you know, a, a massively complex problem to solve. I, I, I think it's solvable somehow. And How would you do it, they, Jim? They might, How they would might you do have it to, purely? Well, like I say, I think stop classifying people purely on gender and just find, a, you know, different ways of, of, um, of categorizing them into, you know, classifications for, for just make it, no, we would have okay. to use the body, the right? We would have are. to use the physique, the male physique, mm -hmm. as opposed yeah. to the female physique. Would you agree you'd on that? Use, at least? You'd have to use physique. <laughs> you, wouldn't, you wouldn't say, well, we're only going to test the men, would you? You'd just test everyone. And you'd probably put them through a series of tests that were, you know, related to that sport. And, um, you know, classify them according to their performance, right? Class no, A, class wrong. B. Wrong. No, no, not, no, not according not to their wrong. performance. No, right. you have to classify because let's say you're, you're, you're running, let's say UFC. Let's take UFC, for example, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we have weight classes, right? Mm -hmm. So you yeah, know a guy that's well 120 pounds or 140 pounds, and you're not going to put him up against a guy that's six foot six, 250 pounds, right? Right. Okay, same thing with this now. No, if no, you have, not, it? can you have a woman? Would you feel comfortable same. with a woman it's... fighting against a man in the well, USA? No, yeah, because I think again that now you're 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 putting something else into the mix now. First of all, I said that we judge people on physique. You're judging them purely on weight. And now... No, that, no. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. All you mentioned was weight. You didn't mention anything about how strong they were. Somebody could just be fat. And, and No, and then I said no. I gave you an example of weight class. And yeah. then I gave you another example of a class of man and woman. No, that wasn't and another example. You, that, you was feel that, was, that wasn't another example. And a and woman would to fight. That, I'm getting to that, as you heard. My first point was, your, your point was not a response to my point where I said we should judge people on physique. When you, when you said we'll just judge them on weight, that's not physique. No, that's, no, I didn't yes, say that. Yes, no. you did. Yes, you Negative. Did. Yes, I gave you an did. example of a weight class, and then I went to yes, a I class haven't of male to and yeah, female. But, You're not but that listening, isn't a Jim. Separate, but that You're isn't hearing a, what you want to hear only, no, Jim. No, you are. That isn't a separate classification. That wasn't another example. That was your example of the same thing, where two people judged on weight would end up in the same classification. Okay, now I'll move put that on. aside. Now, Maybe now I misspoke. Put now that I'll aside. Now we now, go to the male and now female. Can a male and a female fight in the UFC? Right. And that, again, is the same example. You judge them on weight, not on physique, and they've ended up in the same classification because you've judged them purely on weight. But now, as I may try to make the point, and you've talked over me, telling me I'm not addressing your point over and over again while I address the first part of your point, and now I'm going to get to the second part that you've told me I'm not addressing about six times while I was addressing the first part. So the second part is you're tapping into something else. Human beings, males and females, are already hardwired not to physically fight each other. We, men definitely through societal pressure and all sorts of things as we're growing up are told not to hit girls and, and not to hit women. And women, likewise, it, it, or uh, conversely, uh, are expected not to, to engage in, in physical altercations with men because of, you know, they're probably 
not going to do too well at it. So you're tapping into something else now. And I and it's interesting that you had to switch from swimming to now it, we're, we're, we're physically fighting each other. And there's no reason why that would uh, why that would have to be the case. All you'd have to do is judge people on their physique, not on their weight, which is what you did. I just want everybody to know now that Jem muted me, right? I just want you to know this fuckface muted me and didn't... We all know, didn't we all heard it. Because the only way I can speak fully and make my point without him shouting all over the top of me, telling me I'm not addressing his point, is to mute him. That's the only way it can be done, because he's a pig-ignorant, ill-mannered fuckwit who's having his right-wing nonsense challenged, and it's bothering him. Go ahead. The fuck face muted me again. I just want everybody to know. This hey, piece of shit, know. if it's men should be women, muted me again, you fucking asshole. People we can all assume, if they can't hear your voice, that you are muted. Because you are so ill-mannered, you talk all over the top of me anyway. If they're not hearing you, they can assume that you are muted. Because I will not uh, uh, spare the muting, I promise you. Go ahead. He did it again. He's, triggered. He's a little bitch. He can't address my question. Jem, you little bitch. Can a man fight in a woman's league in the UFC? Yes or no? If, if, if they were uh, physically um, equal, I, I don't see a problem with that. But I think you're, again, ignoring the point that I made, completely ignoring, haven't addressed it in any way whatsoever, just asked the same stupid question again, which is that men and women are hardwired not to have physical altercations with each other. And I think that presents a problem. So can you explain to us why you needed to switch your example from the swimmer to th that actually happened to this UFC example that hasn't actually happened? Why was that required for you to make your point? I just switched it. It makes no difference. You can take a it's UFC or you can take the swimmer. It may okay, well, let's do the swimmer then. If it doesn't make any difference, let's stay with the swimmer where the, we don't have this problem of the, the hard wiring of, of men and women to not physically fight each other. So let's stay with that example. Go ahead. Right. You have a male, physically stronger, more muscles, indisputable. This guy came in 256 place, something like that when competing against the males. So but again, you're ignoring what I've said, While he was you? competing, you're, you're interrupting me. You're, you're interrupting well, because me. because you're ignoring you're what I've said. What I proposed is a classification system where we judge people on their physique. And you're telling us this person was physically superior. If we went with my system, that couldn't happen, could it? Well, we didn't go with your system, dipshit. Open your ears. Right. They okay. allowed them. And open your ears, as I said. There are changes required throughout society mm -hmm. all the time for all sorts of things. And this is one of them. We mm. shouldn't worry you too much that something's changed somewhere in a sport that you don't follow, a sport that you ha don't take part in, the sport you have no interest in whatsoever until Tucker Carlson yes. told you you were interested in it. And, and now it's all a big deal to you. I would just not worry about it, Essie. You Apparently. have nothing, Jam. All you have is a mute button. You don't let me talk. You're behaving just like the people you criticize. Now, I talk tell you funny, again. Dude. Quit crying. I tell you yeah, again. Talking. How can you justify a superior physique of a male who is stronger than a female? I How can I you? Can't. That's why I'm proposing we have people of equal physique. I wonder why you keep ignoring the fact that I've said that. Again, I, I want to you know again, Montreal, Montreal. again, you muted me in mid sentence. If you do that again, I'm gonna leave you fucking asshole. No, just please. No, there you can go. I want to say something to Simontrel. Go ahead, dude. Yeah, my my older brother uh, knew a person, uh, a male who was had a very feminine build, like very feminine. And you can have females who have a more masculine build. And there are many facts that. Sometimes you're born that way, but also how uh, you live throughout your life can also affect what level you have when you reach the end of your developing stage. And there would be women who would absolutely crumble this person, even if they were equal weight. 
because he was just had a really great salt build. And I think there was a place in Texas where they were going were going by weight class, uh, where males and females fought each other. And I, I recall it was actually a woman who ended up, uh, you know, winning that one also against the males. So there are places where it can overlap. It's just circumstantial. But there are masculine women and there are uh, feminine men. That is not the issue. The issue is, should a superior physique male be allowed to compete in women's sports? That is the issue. Is right the hand superior in physique to that uh, that uh, fighter that took him down? Yeah, it should be up to them whether they fight or not. Why should we prevent women from fighting men if that's what they want to do? How about we let them that's decide? That's not what they want to do. That's not what they want to do. How about we let the women decide? No, 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 no. no. There's no, there's no. Se Montreal. You has can't, to you can't women, take away a woman's. Fight. You can't take away a woman's right to compete in a sport by putting a male there with superior muscles and and taking away her life's work. That doesn't work in my world. Maybe it does. Once again, is SE Montreal going to answer this question? Is right the hand superior in physique to that woman that took him down? Have you seen that, Simantra? Have you seen that woman? <laughs> All right, so yeah, what's he, the problem yeah, now? Built, now we've yeah, got a woman that's killer. going to beat a, beat, beat a guy, so now we don't have a problem anymore. So your problem Dude, just goes away. Listen, you're, 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 you're trying to blend lines here. This has nothing to do with what Right the Hand did that fought the woman. That you got beat by a woman. Accepted. There we go. They, now, we've, now the problem's done. The problem is over with. No, it, the problem is in your brain. Somehow you're wired to accept anything that the uh, mainstream brings out. You are trying like to change what a man is and what a woman people. is. And I am not going to allow that to happen. It's as simple as that. Not going to allow. Yeah. Montreal, so he has you to don't stand see... up for the rights of people outside of his group. Uh, that doesn't Montreal, make sense. You, you don't seem to um, address uh, his point. Ha just to make sure, have you seen the fight between right the hand and that woman yes i've seen it yes it, yeah. in in all, he, in all he, fairness though that's a very bad example if you take an untrained person in any kind of sport and put them yes, up against someone you. that's very, that's well trained the outcome is almost in every instance going to be in the favor of the person that's trained that's a that's a bad example and Thank in you, that yes. ex in, in that example of the right the hand ex you can have women who are muscular as right the hand is i i Probably it has nothing no to do with muscle. It has to do with technique. You didn't listen to his answer. Yeah, I was about okay, to address Johnny that. Johnny McEnroe to, to play tennis against a woman? According <laughs> to, uh, you know, SE, no, that's not allowed. They can't make that decision for themselves. That's weird. You can, if you decide on your own, that's not a problem. But if you train all your life as a woman and you come up to your, me your medal, gold medal event, you've been training all your life, you might never get another crack at this. And, and there's a man next to you that might beat you? You think that's fair? That's up to them whether they want to compete in that activity or not, dude. Let them decide not up for to themselves. Them. The women don't want not the men there. there. It's not up to they, them. That's fine. They could vocalize that. Why do you need to vocalize it for them is my question. Because nobody else is doing it. And you have people like Jem who think I'm crazy no, no, saying no. this. Uh, they can do it nobody else is doing they don't it. need that's you to hold their hand. You don't, they, I'm they, speaking they, they, out they, for they, the weak. That's very Basically, simple. Oh, Jesus you think Christ, the women dude. athletes are weaker than you. So it's man, really just a form of sexism. Listen to you guys, man. You guys are it pathetic, is. It man. It is definitely sexism. You're really man, pathetic, guys. Man, I, man, I mean, man, you look in the man, mirror. Seriously, man. Is it just man, because I'm so weak? Well, it's, it's Do you very have easy. to disagree with me? Is that it? It's very easy to fix. You have two different sports. One where women join because they want the challenge of competing oh, with men, and yeah. one that's only for women. Like it's I can easy. go with that. Yeah, I can go with that. Sure. And free free choice, kind of. If I'm you get me. Yes, I'm I can go with that. One going through it. Alex Jones in the background. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> so I'm and, glad and you I, guys I are talking you, some sense into your uh, leader, Jem. I, I think you were talking <laughs> past each other. Just really, yeah. I'm, I'm human. Up. I'm alive. 
Let me ask you, if that was your daughter that came in second to that oh guy, what would you say? I would say, uh, good job. You know, you wanted to fight him. You got to do what you wanted to do. She That's didn't fine. want to fight him, though. He Who was put that? in there against her will. Uh, the plot again, thickens, huh? Again, women can make that statement for themselves. They don't need but you making it. They did, though. <laughs> The man yeah, was put there again. Don't, don't come back. here and tell us that they didn't make a statement for themselves and that you're trying to help the weak. That's exactly what he wants to think of it as. No, I'm trying to show you that our civilization is crumbling brick by brick. Right, and you you're guys an example. Are helping it along. This is not destroying civilization in, like, in any appreciable way. Yes. When a person could decide that he's a giraffe or a donkey, or any other freaking thing, uh, there's something wrong with yeah. our civilization. That That's yeah. a bad path to take, by the way, if you're trying to make the argument convincing. That's, that's a He's bad not path. trying to make anything convincing. No, I'm trying to show you guys that you guys, because it's me, you would argue against anything. If I told you uh, an apple is green and red, you would, you would argue against that. No, no matter what, what I would say, you would argue against it because sense. it's me. It has no bearing yeah. on you. It's completely based on your statements and your actions. So you cannot see the problem in men competing in women's sport. You don't see an issue in this at all. No, the issue is that you want to dictate women's sports and you're not a woman. That's the issue. No, women, clearly women the women themselves are against it. I heard the woman herself in an interview they can today. Have that fight. They can have that issue brought up. Because and you don't, you don't feel... You it's don't feel that you issue. should support them? No, we'll support them. That's, that's up to them to decide, not me. You're not supporting so you them. No, You're you... telling them what to do. That's different. So you take no side in this issue? I take the side on whatever the women decide to do. It's their okay. sport. It's not my sport. Okay, the women don't want men competing in their sport. That's fine. I don't care. But ba basically... Um... Again, uh, the speaking past each other, they see you as uh, telling women what to do instead of supporting what they want to do. That's where the misunderstanding is, uh, Montreal. No, it's not a yeah, but this is what I'm That's trying to explain to you guys. It. He I'm wants giving to be you... able to mansplain to everyone what they should and shouldn't do. And that's just weird. Listen, listen up, man. I'm telling you what this woman said. She did that's an funny. interview and she felt wronged. Don't you understand that? She came in fifth in this particular race. She came in fifth. No, what she we don't understand is time. why you are so butthurt by it. That's what we don't understand. I'm not butthurt by you it. I just said to myself, let me explain to you why. For some reason, you're more butthurt than the woman who's actually in the competition. Uh, so the, the problem the other competitors have right now is if they speak up against it, they, they'll be labeled as bigots. They can't actually voice yes. their, their opinion without being being uh, effectively not silenced because they they can obviously do interviews and whatnot but they will effectively be labeled as bigots and one voice yeah. of reason thank you sir whoever you are i was i was actually gonna say <laughs> hey what that, about I, me I the, uh, you right. too bro you too <laughs> thank well you. I, that's kind of that's i think that's, so. that's why with people who do speak up and bring up things like classification based on performance are the ones that are not bigots these are the people that continuously speak up. You can't see the problem here, Doofus. You cannot see a problem here, really. I just gave you the solution to the problem. The so what's, problem the, is, what's the problem with the solution take, I gave you? Hang, hang on for a second. Let's take, take that solution. I think the current problem then is that instead of just making a third category, uh, you're trying, or I'm, I'm using the royal you, uh, is is being forced into an existing category instead of making the third category you're talking about. Yeah, but I'm not trying to make category. a third category. I'm trying to remove the men's versus women's categorization. It's just going to have to be based on performance from this point forward, and should have been from the beginning. That's exactly. that's fine then. That's the only clear way to do this where it's fair for everyone, and that's what, what we all want. We want it to be fair, right? So, but again, though they like. The, the problem you run into is if you want to if you want to do it strictly on on performance if you if you do any kind of physical uh be it any kind of ball sport or anything like that anything that requires strength or speed it's still going to be predominantly male dominated and you will you will then have to separate 
uh, into like say two different types of top levels. If you want well, to make, it, have make to. it fair, you really don't. Well, the then separated. if they happen to be male dominated at the top category, that's fine because there it is. The performance categories are still separated. But th that wouldn't yeah. be that wouldn't be quote unquote fair though. It's as fair as it can be to the performance level of every personal or every single athlete. That's all it needs to be. But let, let it be noted. I agree with you. I agree that the only thing that should matter is performance. It's just that in in any, like in the current in the current uh, let's call it, what's the political environment. Yeah. Uh, if if you ended up with a category being very male or even exclusively male dominated, that would be spoken out against as being unfair. All right, and the people that continue to do it would be rightfully turned, you know, it would be rightfully rebutted with, well, we can't have things that perform differently than other things in the same performance category. That's stupid. And that will always be the response. But... And so, and that's kind of the thing. That's that's actually what's going on right now. But it's being it's said not, that it's, it's not okay. Entirely. What we really need is just performance categories, not men's and women's. Yes, I agree. I'm just saying that the the problem is that unless the political environment changes, it'll still be labeled as unfair and be spoken out against heavily and be made into Ooh. a bigger issue than it is. Who's How labeling dividing, it unfair? How are you dividing performance categories? It's the only way to make the actual sport, the sport where people perform similar to each other so that either side could win, is to have performance categories. What, keeps what does you, that mean exactly? How would you, you test this? How would you go uh, about... Uh, what keeps you competing against your full potential? Say again? What keeps you competing against your full potential? Why can't you fight or compete in a lower performance category and dominate you mean good game point, the system? Kirk. good point you mean game the system whatever I, I don't care about the terms i'm, I'm talking about what you, what's actually happening how do you yeah he has a good it? point let's say you underperform right. on purpose you've got so if you're somebody level. who who is you know is performing at a lower level on purpose in order to be assigned that category yes. and then outperform everybody else in that category. That would be rightly called out as gaming the system. It's How would you do it? How would you detect it? It's obvious when they start outperforming everyone in their own category. But let's say well, he, they don't outperform them. They just win by just a little bit. Wait, the winner of the category is in a fraud. Because they outperformed everyone else in that category. Mm -hmm. If it's if it's consistent in every single sporting event, it becomes kind of obvious. But besides, that's how you would determine part. That's part of the way you would determine how you would move people to their appropriate categories. Is they would have like they would be promoted to the next class. Essentially, you're not good enough to win the next class, so you go down, and then you dominate. Exactly. And you they're not that. They're not that granular. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's no I, I way mean, you perform consistently at the same level every single sporting well, event, anyway. I'm sure there are certain levels, right? Like where, like people don't particularly fit in the category, or they're borderline, right? So that, that just whoever happens to be closer to the top in that category is going to win the majority of the time. I mean, so yeah, serious problems trying to implement this. That's what what I'm really trying to point out. I don't yeah, think I mean, it's practical or achievable. That's fucking ridiculous, really. I mean, how are you going to decide a soccer team then? I mean, I don't fucking know. Because exactly. the better, people, the better decide, people yeah. win, the better people win more often and they're on the fucking higher soccer teams. I mean, I don't, that's like, it's like you can put a man in a girl's sport if you want, if that's the way you want to call it that, right? But if they start dominating and like, you know, crushing people's skulls, well, then I guess you got a problem. But if they don't, and they're fucking competing just like the rest of them. Then what the fuck's your problem? What are the chances you think that women are gonna compete against men equally in in, in like a, a sport? What do you think the chances of that? Depends on the sport. Yeah, it very much depends on the sport. Yeah, well, take any sport that that needs physique and strength: swimming, boxing, UFC, kayaking. You name it, man. You name the, it. Those those type of sports will almost exclusively be male dominated. 
Yeah, there's no question about that. I mean, it's just a physique. It, 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 you're born that way. It's, I mean, it's not right or wrong. It, it is what it is. Yeah, so you just have to define what it is to be able to participate in the women's category. Yes. If you have a male physique. Beyond being a woman. Yes, if you have a male no. physique, no matter what you identify as, I don't care about that. You can do whatever you want you in the privacy of your own. what a male own. physique is, and that's going to be even harder. I thought we were eliminating division by sex at the moment. Is that yeah. what we're talking about? We're just calling this it. This is uh, crappy. I, I think categories. But what's, you can't what's, eliminate sex in this because it's a major issue. What's Males commonly have genitalia. As... They have testosterone. They have a higher muscle but muscle mass. It's a fact, guys. You that can't change goal. that. Just, that's just, the goal just, that's trying to be achieved through this method at the moment. Just to clarify, in, in this type of conversation, at least as far as I, I'm aware of, What's typically referred to as a male physique is a body that's undergone male um, puberty, effectively. Yes. So okay. if you haven't gone through male puberty, then... Now that you get an even more complicated definition that you have to say, what is male puberty? <laughs> How are you right, going to measure then, it and then, test people for it? <laughs> right, and then you're you know dealing with the hormones that are introduced to cause things like that. This may not be a good good way to determine who should be able to participate. Right. No, if I'm the just goal saying that, is, that that's if the goal of separating by sex male, is see. to determine which people should perform and at what level, then what you're doing is you're setting performance standards based only on sex. That's true, actually. So Holy the fuck. goal, if your goal is to separate performance levels and you're doing it with sex, you're doing it wrong. You know, even even Caitlyn Gender agrees with me, huh? Just to let Gender. you know. Yeah. A little Freudian slip there. Uh, Caitlyn uh, Jenner, sorry, yeah. My bad. She's a beautiful and amazing woman, yes. God but bless her. Let her do whatever she wants. God bless be her. allowed to participate in women's only sports. And a good driver. I agree. Yeah. She should not be able to participate in women's sports. Oh, I agree with you. What